thank you for joining us today on another installment of Frost and Sullivan's exciting podcast series highlighting key disruptive technologies, growth opportunities, economic trends, new business models, industry convergence, emerging geographies and much more. I am Manu Tiwari, program manager with the industrial research team and I'll be talking about the growth of electronics manufacturing services market, the key end users impacting its growth and the kind of opportunity India has to offer. In comparison to the global electronic system design and manufacturing industry that accounts to 5% year on year growth, the Indian electronic system design and manufacturing industry is expected to have one of the highest growth of up to 20% till 2025. This high rate is achieved because of multiple factors that include consistency of demand for electronics products in the local market, government's focus on domestic manufacturing programs like Make in India, Digital India, etc. And lastly, the rising manufacturing costs in China. All these factors make India a lucrative alternate manufacturing destination. Some large companies have their own manufacturing units, but medium and small companies prefer to outsource manufacturing, which is handled by electronics manufacturing service providers. The electronics manufacturing services in India is likely to grow at a rate of 38% between 2018 to 2023. Let's talk about factors leading to this high growth. Growing domestic demand, especially for mobile phones, personal computers, medical electronics, consumer electronics and appliances, and automotive electronics is pushing the need for fast and efficient manufacturing. Electronics manufacturing services companies offer flexibility in product design updates, faster time to market, and cost effectiveness. Aftermarket services gives brands a viable component in deepening their presence in the market. Also, increase in design and manufacturing capabilities have led to export opportunities for some products, which also acts as a driver. With regards to the major restraints for the growth, the inadequate domestic standards and testing facilities for many products in India paves the way to supply substandard products in the market. High capital expenditure, prevailing high finance rate in the country, and lack of a stable component ecosystem are also some of the key restraints. Breaking down EMS further at sub-segment levels, the mobile phone segment occupies the highest market share. Also consumer electronics and appliances, industrial and telecom are constant contributors to its volumes. To conclude, India has a competitive edge in design services and it has high maturity levels in packaging distribution repair, sales and marketing functions to meet geographical standards and cater to local requirements. Many electronics manufacturing service providers are slowly evolving to offer complete design services apart from contract manufacturing. With increasing volumes being outsourced, there is a very high probability of these electronics manufacturing services companies to also bring in the component ecosystem locally. All of it will result in giving the much needed boost to the local manufacturing ecosystem of the country. On that note, I hope you have enjoyed the session. Please join us for future podcasts and become a member of Frost and Sullivan's Leadership Council by emailing us at digital at the rate frost.com. Thank you for your time.